Despite being extremely skilled in lightsaber combat and versed in several highly advanced lightsaber forms such as Form 6 Nyman or the even more dangerous Form 7 Juyo, also known as the Ferocity form, Palpatine actually harbored a deep distaste for lightsabers and lightsaber combat in general. After the era of Darth Bane, the emphasis on lightsaber dueling seemed for a bit to simply be a holdover of the ancient Sith Empire, as the Sith no longer conquered through superior power or skill with the lightsaber, but by outwitting and outsmarting their enemies. The Sith Lords at this point had become a different type of animal entirely, but Darth Bane had always cared deeply for lightsaber combat, even mastering both Forms 3 and 5 to their highest degree to ensure he could crush any threat possible. Still, after Lord Bane killed the rest of the Sith, their methods and warrior ways changed to be more political in their goals, as the Sith transformed from butchers and warriors to schemers. Despite this though, the study of the lightsaber still continued throughout the Sith Order, even past Bane, if primarily only for ceremonial reasons. Darth Plagueis' Sith Master Darth Tenebris considered himself a lightsaber master, but was never actually depicted in a lightsaber duel. Darth Plagueis himself did indeed possess a lightsaber, but rarely used it, and only really sparred with his apprentice with it, rather than engage in a full-fledged lightsaber duel, with the exception of one occasion where he killed a Sith rival. Darth Plagueis was an intellect, and master of the dark side of the force far more than he was of the lightsaber, but still, he chose to teach his apprentice, and insist that Palpatine learn the ins and outs of the weapon. He did this because he knew the ancient enemy of the Sith, the Jedi, still valued and frequently used lightsabers in combat. Although he far from despised the weapon, Plagueis never put much emphasis on Palpatine's training with it. But nonetheless, even at a young age, the boy was a prodigy with the blade. In fact, Palpatine was a prodigy in nearly all methods of killing, as he seemed not only to be extremely talented at it, but also reveled in the suffering of those he deemed less than himself which in actuality was pretty much everyone. Although Plagueis forced Palpatine to drill with the lightsaber, the boy eventually grew to hate the weapon, as he saw no reason why the Sith should continue to use it. Palpatine grew to hold the opinion that the Sith should solely use their command over the dark side of the Force to conquer their enemies, and grew to believe that solely based off of this, he could conquer nearly any Jedi Knight, or even Jedi Master. Because of this, Palpatine chose to focus far more on his abilities with the Force than with the lightsaber, even going years without touching the blade until he was forced to several times during the Clone Wars conflict. Palpatine only ended up training Maul to focus heavily on lightsaber combat because he believed his gifts with the Force to be subpar, and desired to eventually toss him aside in favor of a more gifted apprentice, which he of course did. In almost every way, Maul was trained more as a Sith assassin than a true apprentice to the Dark Lord, as he was taught to fight and obey rather than be privy to the darkest secrets of the Sith Order. The only reason Dooku was such a legendary swordsman was due to his prior training as a Jedi Knight. Palpatine over time grew to believe the weapon was just that of a Jedi, and not a Dark Lord powerful enough not to require a weapon at all, besides the dark side of the Force in itself. Palpatine believed the power of the dark side to be far more dangerous than any lightsaber blade. Despite inherently disliking the weapon, Palpatine still opted to keep one close at hand at all times, on many occasions hiding one in his extravagant robes or within a statue in his office. Palpatine in some way seemed to fear the power and skill of the swordsmanship of a Jedi Master, as he believed he would eventually need a lightsaber to combat one, or even multiple. This fear would one day become true, as Palpatine would in fact use a lightsaber against Jedi Masters Yoda and Mace Windu. After the rise of the Empire though, Palpatine truly became cemented in his thoughts of the lightsaber being a somewhat barbaric tool, and weapon that should not be used by a true Dark Lord of the Sith, or at least a Sith Lord that was in fact the Sith Master. As he grew older, Palpatine continued to profess that he only used a lightsaber because in his mind it was insulting to the Jedi that relied so heavily on it to fight. In truth, however, Palpatine's lightsaber saved him on several occasions, and he still always kept at least one hidden away, ready to pull out at any time. Quote, the Sith grew past the use of lightsabers, but we continue to use them, if only to humiliate the Jedi. So that is why Palpatine hated lightsabers, and believed that the Sith had evolved past the point where they should use them. Palpatine believed the power of the dark side of the Force far superior than that of any lightsaber. So what are your thoughts on this, and Palpatine's opinion on lightsabers? And as a big question for the video, who do you believe to be the best lightsaber duelist in all of Star Wars? And if you can't pick one, I would love to hear your top 5. If you would like to join me in the daily Star Wars discussion and debates, follow me on Twitter, at Stupendous Wave. Link will be in the description. If you enjoyed this video and feel it deserves it, it would really help me out if you could leave a like. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything Star Wars related, from news, explanations, and theories from a galaxy far, far away. If you have any video topics you would like to see addressed in a future video, do not hesitate to leave them in the comments below the video, or again, tweet them at me. As always, your viewership and support means the world. May the force be with you, and have a great day.